Hey guys, this is Sai from Sinai Software. Today I wanted to make a video, um, something a little different, sort of um, what I go through when I'm working on sort of a little bit of a larger project. And when I first brought in geometry to sort of check it and clean it up and, and get it ready to go for production. Um, so right now, it, you can't really see it. I don't know if it's screen capture or it's the geometry itself. Um, I have New York City. Um, which is a model that came from OpenStreetView, and you can see it is a mess. I mean, it has problems drawing the geometry itself. Um, it's typically what you'd get that comes into something with, um, you know, of course, uh, other, uh, other programs that are not native to bringing into Max. So you get some strange geometry that goes on. Um, I'm going to open up our Ignite. Let me just hide the camera. And I'm going to need to do a couple of things to this scene. I'm going to want to, um, one, check it. I'm going to, two, I need to go um, probably weld a lot of stuff together. I'm going to need to go check for double faces. I'm going to need to reset the geometry. So this is sort of our pipeline of what we're going to do. So let me turn on stats here first. And so we can see what sort of verts and polys we're working with. The very first thing I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna check my scene. So let's just open up Forensic here and I'm gonna run through this. And you can see I got a couple of empty objects and a couple of scaled objects. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna delete my empty objects. And that'll be stuff that has objects with no faces. So they're already destroyed. There's nothing there. So you can just delete them. There's no repair. Uh, and I'm just going to go through and get my scaled objects. Um, it's not necessarily important um, scaled objects all the time. It depends on what you're working with. Um, if you're linking stuff up, if you're doing simulation stuff, link scaled things are a problem. Um, I'm going to go in and that looks pretty good. Let me just get rid of my empty layers and I'll do a quick scan. And the only problem I have now is I have one object with no material. And that happens to be my ground plane. So I'm not too worried about that. All right. So we've gotten to that stage. Now, the next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm still having a problem with this drawing geometry, the back faces, sort of the flickering, the nightmare that this stuff is in. So I'm going to select everything here and I'm going to use our reset object. And this does a couple of things. It does more than just um, resetting the transform. Uh, and that has gone through. And now you can see geometry looks a little more stable. It's nice and clean. Um, well, it's not clean, of course, because it's, it's still, you know, just basic geometry. There's probably double faces, all sorts of problems in here. They're probably all, none of this stuff is welded. There'll still be a lot of stuff to do. All right, so the next thing I'm probably going to want to do is I'm going to probably go look for all sorts of double faces. So, um, no, possibly the, the next thing I'll do is go weld this stuff. Uh, because I'm guessing that none of this is welded and there's a whole bunch of extroverts and problems with this stuff. So I'm going to open up our uh, sculpt tool and you can see the verts here, the vert count. I'm going to set this really low so it's almost nothing and it's just going to weld verts that are next to each other. So let it go through its process and we'll see what it comes up with in the end. And this will sort of help us with our double faces as well, finding those. Uh, go through, so it's almost there, and there we go. So you can see there's a drastic difference. There was 4,000 some odd verts there. Now it's, it's cleaned that up. So we can go in and we make sure, you know, all the details still somewhat there with all our models. So we haven't gone destroyed anything. Uh, and that's the thing. You want to make sure it's a super, super low setting that you're welding stuff together. So always like zero, zero, possibly zero, 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 one. So um, you just want to get stuff that was probably welded at one point and in the import process have had problems. All right. Next step I want to go through is I want to look for double faces. Now, this one takes a little while to go through. There's a lot that it needs to do. Um, 
But the advantage of going through and checking for double faces is um, as it goes through, if it finds a double face, say it's on its third face that it's checking, it's going to kick that object out as, okay, it's got double faces. So it doesn't have to actually go through and check every face. Once it has one double face, we're going to flag it. Um, so that's where the checking process goes in. If you were to just go detach all double faces, it would take probably three times as long. So you want to do the fine double faces first. And it'll eliminate a lot of geometry as well. So you can see we're almost done with this. And the welding process does help, trust me. Um, when I did this before as a test and I looked for double faces before I welded, it took about three times as long to do that. So we have all our double faces here. And what we're gonna do now, any object that is red is bad. <laughs> any object that's green is good. Uh, we have a reset wire color, so don't even worry about any of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all our red stuff, and now I'm gonna say detach double faces. So it's gonna run through all these objects, and you can see it's pretty quick because it doesn't have to go through searching all the ones that we already checked now. We already know that these ones have double bad double faces. So it's almost done the process. What it's gonna do is it's gonna detach these and then leave them selected. So if I go here, and let's just move these up, you can see all the double faces out of all these buildings that have problems. So it is, um, this is a work in progress. I mean, we've gotten pretty far with this. Uh, we want to add some more stuff to this, but let's go delete these. And now we should have a pretty stable scene. Um, one thing that I'll probably do is um, I would then in my next process would probably go and proxy these. Um, so the one thing that I would do is I would go through and probably select probably chunks of this stuff. And I'm not gonna do the whole city because it would sort of take me a little while to go through and sort of select these into groups. So I'm just gonna slowly I'd go through and attach this stuff. And I'll just do a couple here. So um, you know what, it won't be a perfect selection. I'm not, it's for demonstration purposes anyway. So I'd go sort of attach this up um, into chunks. Let's just go through, grab this, let me deselect you and you, attach you together. All right, so we have a couple of objects here and let me just zoom into these. And just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna take these guys now and I'm gonna isolate these. I'm gonna go just throw a random wire color on here. So as I'm working on later on, I'll know my groups. And the last thing I'm going to want to do is I'll probably go through and I want to bulk proxy these. So I'm going to do these as an external file and we'll just display these as point cloud. And let's find a place to put this. So I'll put this on my desktop, we'll create a new folder. We'll call this city test for now. So let's go city test and we'll go proxy these. All right, so it's gonna go through. There we go, it's done. And that's our bulk proxy. So um, it's sort of gonna make this, and we can actually display this. Oops, let me get out of this. We can actually go over here to our proxy. We can show this in full mesh. Um, or half mesh is a little easier. Uh, it's just, of course, gonna be, it'll give you an idea of what the city is. Uh, but it doesn't need to go show it in full mesh. Uh, point cloud for some things are great. You're not going to really get an idea of what this sort of city is doing um, unless you look at it in full or half mesh. Um, so that is the process that I would go in sort of cleaning up the scene and giving it something that I can use. Um, thanks a lot, guys. Hope you find this useful and check out some more of our videos.